Hi y'all. There are so many different brands and varieties of bourbons available, it can be overwhelming to find the perfect bourbon to fit your budget. Fortunately, there are a number of excellent bourbons available that won't break the bank. Whether you're a seasoned bourbon connoisseur or just starting to explore the world of whiskey and bourbon, there are many high-quality, budget-friendly bourbons that offer a great taste and value for your money. In this video, we will take a look at some of the best budget bourbons on the market so you can enjoy the rich, complex flavors of this beloved spirit without breaking your bank. My first selection, Buffalo Trace. It is 90 proof. The age on this is not disclosed, but it's believed to be somewhere between six and eight years. It's a great bourbon to use as a mixer, but it also is good to drink either on the rocks or neat. It only costs about $25, it's a good price. One of the things you wanna make sure you do, stick around to the end to see my best bet for all the affordable bourbons. Hi y'all, Don here with Whiskey Sippin'. If you're enjoying my video and would like to help me out, please give me those big thumbs up and like the video. And of course, please become a Patron member. The link is down below in the description. And by joining, you'll be eligible for all kinds of little extra perks that are included. The next selection of really affordable, great bourbons. Early Times, and this is the Bottle and Bond. This is not just the regular Early Times. Remember, Bottle and Bond. This one comes in at 100 proof, and because it is Bottle and Bond, it's gonna be aged a minimum of four years. The nice thing about this, instead of a 750 milliliter bottle, it is a one liter bottle. So you get a little bit more bang for your buck. Uh, this one, the price is only $25. Now, it is a rather harder to find. It is not allocated, but it is a whole lot harder to find. You're not just going to find it on the shelf everywhere. If you do get an opportunity and you find this on the shelf, get two or three bottles. It's well worth it. Now, myself, I like to use this as a mixer, but it is great neat also. This bottle, again, out of one liter, only costs about $25. My next selection, and you can see, I drink this pretty regular, Wild Turkey 101. It comes in at 101 proof. Age on this is somewhere between six and eight years old. The great thing about this is it delivers a consistently good pour year after year, and it really doesn't matter where you live. You can always find this bourbon on the shelf, most any liquor store. This comes in at under $30. Uh, I say that because I can get it locally for about $23, $24, but some places it is closer to uh, the $25 to $30 range. This one is a great inexpensive bourbon, especially if you want to use it as a mixer. All right, y'all, my next selection is Old Forester, and this is their signature series. It comes in at 100 proof, so make sure you have this 100 proof on it, not the 86 proof. The price difference between the 100 proof and the 86 proof is not but a dollar, but this is well worth it. Uh, this is aged somewhere between seven and 10 years. The Hunter Proof is spot on, providing warmth and intensity of flavors while still keeping it a gentle sipper. It is about $30 and it is a good bourbon for the money. Grab some of these. I like to drink this neat. It's really good. And you see this bottle, I haven't opened it yet. It's because I just polished off my last bottle yesterday. This bottle is also included in my video, which you can watch right here. All right, y'all, my next selection, Cooper's Craft Barrel Reserved 100 Proof. It is a straight bourbon, which means it's aged four plus years. It is a wonderful bourbon to sip neat and would work well in cocktails with 100 proof, it giving us a nice kick to whatever it goes into. This is around $30 to $35, and it's a great bourbon for the money. And you will not be disappointed with this particular bourbon. My next selection, an old favorite, Old Granddad 114. 
114 proof. The age is undisclosed, but generally, it's kind of most people expect it to be somewhere between four and five years old. This one is made from a high rye mash bill. The high rye is noticeable, particularly in the finish when it combines with the 114 proof. However, it does not overwhelm a drink or anybody. While the proof may be a little bit much for those just starting out, it is definitely a bourbon perfect for those ready to make the leap into the higher proof. The price of this is usually between $30 and $35. Another great little bourbon. The next selections, this is one of my favorite ones, Eagle Rare. It is 90 proof. It's a straight bourbon, and this one is aged 10 years. Like Weller, which is made by Buffalo Trace and owned by the Sazerac Company, this sometimes is a harder to find. But it seems to be available more and more since Sazerac has moved and changed distributors. Buffalo Trace and Eagle Rare use the same mash bill, so what sets them apart is the aging and the barrel selection. Drinking Eagle Rare neat pairs great with a good cigar, and with a retail price of only $30 to $35, which you can now find it for, it's hard to beat. My next selection in these great bourbons is 1792 Small Batch. This is 93.7 proof. It is a straight bourbon, which means again, aged at least four years. This is a high rye bourbon, and it's a little spicier than most traditional bourbons. At about $35 to $40, it's a great bourbon to make old fashions with, especially if you don't want it too fruity and like it a little spicy. All right, y'all, my next selection is Knob Creek Nine Year. It's 100 proof. It's an excellent sipping bourbon and a great bourbon to mix with high-end cocktails. This only runs $35 to $40 and is a superior bourbon to include in your old fashions. My next selection, this one is my wife's favorite bourbon of all. This is the Four Roses Small Batch. It has the yellow label. 90 proof. Their website states that it's somewhere aged in the six to seven year range. It is beloved among the cocktail crowd for being an ideal mixing whiskey. It has a high rye mash bill, and because of its 90 proof, it's a great bourbon for beginners to try. It only runs about $35 to $40, and you can find it almost everywhere. The next really good inexpensive bourbon, you can't do this without a maker's mark. So not we don't want just regular makers, we want makers 46. This is the older bottle, this is the newer bottle. Same whiskey, same bourbon. These are aged approximately six years. The maker's marks 46 is a weeded bourbon with a French oak finish. This pour is 94 proof but doesn't burn much at all. Overall, it is a great sipper, neat, or even on the rocks if you like. For a good bourbon like this, only runs about $35 to $40. Hi y'all, the next selection, Russell's Reserve. This is a straight bourbon, 90 proof, and it's aged at least 10 years. Wild Turkey's master distiller, Eddie Russell, said in 2021 that Russell's Reserve 10-year would experience profile changes, and trust me, it has. If you fancy a mature bourbon that is sweet and light on the oak notes, then this change is for you. Russell's Reserve offers a tremendous value for those of us seeking a higher aged and lower proof bourbon. At about $40, it is great middle of the line bourbon to make an old fashioned. Try it out. All right, y'all, we're to our best bet for affordable bourbons. Weller's Special Reserve, 90 proof. It is a weeded straight bourbon, which means it's aged again four plus years. Usually it is aged up to about eight years. This is a harder to find bourbon. A lot of people say it's allocated. 
But since Republic again is not the distributor any longer, it seems to be a lot easier to find. It has a perfect balance of flavors and delivery that really causes this to stand out as a good sipping bourbon. There are a lot of people who claim that this is one of the finest bourbons available. Best of all, retail price is only between $25 and $30. But realistically, if you had to pay $50 or more, it's worth it. Personally now, I am not going to pay over retail or maybe a dollar or two, but I'm not going to pay $50 for a bottle of this. I know I can get it all the time for $30. Until next time, guys, y'all great sipping.